All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change out the clutch springs. These guys right here. Being that we're installing a bigger piston, higher compression ratio, a wilder cam, this engine is going to make a lot more power. So we're going to have to install these stiffer clutch springs in order for the clutch to hold the power. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start by first removing in the oil out of the engine. And then we're going to come back and take all these little bolts out. Here and here. And there's some along the bottom. Some here on the back. Take the reverse cable out, the pull off, the cable, take it loose. And then we'll remove the cover and you'll be able to see the clutch. Alright, now we have the clutch cover off. You can see right here is your primary or your centripetal force clutch. Here's your counterbalancer. And what we're after is your secondary clutch right here. As you see, there's one, two, three, four, five bolts here and behind that bolt those bolts are the springs that we're going to go after and change which holds pressure on the clutch pack those discs right there so with a stiffer spring we can hold a lot more pressure being that this motor is going to make a lot more torque keep this clutch alive all right here's just a look what the inside of the clutch cover looks like after we've pulled it off um, we can take it off change the gasket even though we got this one off and the gasket didn't tear, it's a good idea to go ahead and change it out before you put it back back on because it's already crushed. There's your oil dipstick and also there's your bearing that supports any of the crankshaft on this triple force clutch. Just give you an idea what it looks like. Okay, here's a look at the two springs. Um, the spring on the left, the one that's painted red, that's a factory spring. The one on the right is the aftermarket it's a little heavier coiled spring. It's a little bit longer, a little bit more tensile strength to give us the power and the strength we're going to need. Okay, when changing these springs out, I've took one out right here. All you got to do is back them out. Do them one at a time. One thing you can do is you can leave this clutch in the bike and change them. Just roll it around to where you can get access to each one of them. And you can change them out one by one without having to remove the clutch out of the bike. Save yourself some time and labor. All right, here's what it looks like. I'm going to put the new spring in, put it over that stud, let it sit like that, and then take your retaining washer and bolt, put it in, start it till it threads. Once you've done this, torque it down to the manufacturer and specification. Do all five of them, change the springs out, torque them all down, roll it over, make sure everything looks good, and you'll be done. Okay, we got all the springs changed, got the bolts torqued down. One thing to do is just look around, make sure there's nothing that binds up. Make sure you didn't leave no small parts in the bottom of the engine that could get caught up in the transmission. Clean your gasket mitting surfaces off. Uh, look everything over. Make sure you have all your little shims and washers in the right spot. Look around, make sure nothing's loose, double check your work. At that point, put your cover back on, and you're done with changing your clutch springs. That's all there is to it.